Hello, I'm Tilda and I want to say happy birthday, Teddy. You're 30 and you will be much, much older and you don't look a day over two. First of all, thank yeah. you very much for doing this interview with You're us. You're very welcome. Miss Winton, you often choose for movies that deal with gay, lesbian and trans topics and um, or for example with the transgression between genders like in Sally Potter's Orlando. Mm -hmm. Why do you support the depiction of queer life and queer characters in movies? Well, the whole question of identity is the reason, I suppose, that I'm interested in being a performer in the first place. Um, that I'm, I've always been very intrigued by the way society uh, encourages people to decide what they are and stick with it through thick and thin forever, whether it means um, they're going to decide to be uh, bourgeois and uh, that means the following list of characteristics or whether they're going to decide to be, uh, you know, uh, they're a male and they can never uh, display any feminine characteristics or whatever. Uh, if they're they're a, 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 an alcoholic and they can never be in recovery and they can never love themselves. So that whole question generally is, uh, is of interest to me. And the world of, uh, of uh, queer culture is incredibly familiar to me. It's been my, it was the, my first uh, home when I, when I entered the world of art, with, not only with, with uh, Derek Jarman, obviously, when I first started making films, but even before that, uh, uh, gay artists were probably the first artists that, that felt um, like home to me. Uh, and I, I don't know why that should be, but the feeling of uh, uh, alienation and then homecoming uh, always felt to me very present in, in gay culture. Mm. You already mentioned Derek Jarman. Mm. Well, you won the Teddy Award twice. The first time in 1988 mm. and then exactly 20 years later in 2008, yeah. together with Keith Collins, Simon Fisher-Turner, Isaac Julian and James McKay, yes. for, the, for keeping alive the heritage of mm. Derek Jarman. And with Derek Jarman, you also made your debut in Caravaggio mm -hmm. in film in mm -hmm. 1986. So how would you describe the relationship with Derek Jarman and what does it mean to you to keep his heritage alive? Well, Derek was my beginning in filmmaking um, and uh, I also in the Berlinale, I'm at the same age as the Teddy Award because the first time I came to Berlin was with Caravaggio, which was the first film I ever made with Derek 30 years ago. So we are the same age, Teddy and I. and. Um, yeah, he was, he was the person who showed me uh, through his work and also by introducing me to international cinema through the Berlinale specifically, um, the, the wide world of cinema. And uh, he was my, my, my kindergarten and I, and I really grew as an artist with him. And he, w for all of us, all of the, the people that you mentioned, James and, and Simon and Keith, and uh, we all learned how to become artists with Derek. He was. Uh, he was our school. Well, Miss Winton, you won an Oscar. You are starring in big Hollywood productions as well as in highly acclaimed independent productions. Rarely, but occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> but with that in mind, I was wondering, did winning the Teddy Award actually have a significance for you? A huge significance. I mean, prizes are prizes, and, and it's sort of maybe tricky to say, but some prizes are worth more than others. And uh, there's something about the Teddy that's really very tender because, uh, as, as I understand it, the Teddy is, is about a constituency, about a sensibility and about an audience um, that feels heard and feels represented and feels a sense of cameradeship. And so to get a Teddy Award is a, is a real embrace. And so uh, I'm very proud of, of my Teddies.